Final score, Romford 2, Redbridge 3. Talk us through that one, Scats. Yeah. Um, tough one, really. We were... Uh, I don't think we were terrible today. We just... We lacked... I don't know what we lacked. We lacked something that we didn't have last... That we did have last week. And... Uh, I don't know. It's hard to always blame refs. And... We've scored. He's blew up and give a penalty as the ball's gone in the goal. We go 1 0 up. We then miss the pen. We then score again to make it what would have been 2 0. And for me, I reckon that would have been game over because they didn't do anything for the first sort of 30, 35 minutes. Um, once they scored, they give, give themselves a lift. And uh, funny enough, they scored with 10 men because they had one in the sim bin. And, we went in at 1-1, fair enough. Second half, we started really well. Hit the bar, hit the posts, missed a one-on-one, -on -one, missed another one, and it was almost as if it's one of them days. Is it going to be, it's not going to be your day? And, and it felt like that most of the game, to be honest. And fair play to them, they sat in, let us have the ball, and we, we didn't have the quality to, uh, to break them down today. A big, mass, big massive miss was my two midfielders who were, I think probably near enough the best in the league and one turns up and his back is gone in Newby and one turned out with his groin gone in Coxie and Coxie got through 45 for me but ultimately you take away your two, two engines and you see the difference unfortunately. Mm. Considering how um, hot it was I think most of us would have forgiven players to started walking and what have you but game was played at quite a high tempo. It was, it was, like you say the water breaks slowed the game down and it suited them, unfortunately, because um, they played at a, at a slow tempo to close the game out and, and slow the game down as much as they could. They sat in, let us have the ball. And it suited them massively, but listen, they come in and they've done a job on us, so well played to them. Our next two games are Takeley in the league and Takeley in the FA Cup. I, I guess you'd rather that pan, panned out that way. No, do you know what? I'd, Listen, while, while I think we're so strong, where we're, we've got a good squad, good side, I want to play as many games as possible. So I know we had the option to not play Wednesday because we are playing them Sunday, but why not play them? Listen, we've got to play them every We've got to play everyone twice. Let's just play them now while I think we're very, at our strongest. So I'm happy to play them Wednesday. It gives us a chance to put today right as soon as possible. And I think from a supporter's point of view, being realistic, there's always going to be a game or at some point in the season that you're, you're not going to win. You're never, you're never going to win all the games, unfortunately. You, you see that even with, with the top flights, and they always come unstuck. And Listen, you can't be at your best every single game. As long as you're at your best 80-90% of your time, we won't go far wrong. And it's not quite on the football inside, but it's great to see, even after a defeat, all the players still in the bar having a drink. Yeah, like I say, I promised you this at the start, no matter what happens, win, lose or draw, that bar will be full after, an hour after the game, because that's what it's all about for me. I think you get the camaraderie right, come up and then we can, uh, you'll get the other side there eventually, you know. Yeah, and uh, look forward to having a chat on Wednesday when hopefully it's uh, a nice positive conversation. Agreed. <laughs>